Hello Scorpio, this is Gypsy Spirit here, ready to give you your love reading uh, for January 21st. <clears throat> and well, actually, I see this going in through the whole week. Um, this, the, these are really good cards, Scorpio. You haven't had good cards in a while, I don't think. But anyway, um, I kind of dropped the ball last week in, in my readings. I became a, a brand new grandmama. And of course, I spent a lot of time with my brand new little bundle of joy. And so um, I'm back. I'm back on YouTube, uh, ready to give more readings, and we'll be doing more this week. Um, for some of you, this may not resonate. Uh, with it being a general reading, sometimes I get different storylines. Pick the one that resonates with you. Um, but if you want a personal reading, you do need to go get a personal, go to my website for a personal reading. And you can go to Gypsy's excuse me, gypsyspiritcharleston.com. It's listed in the description below. But in the meantime, let's get started. Um, I've already got the cards out, and I'm even doing a bonus card for my map re for my map cards. Which are great cards. So um, here's what I see for you. You have a king of pentacles in reverse. Okay? Then an ace of pentacles <laughs> um, upright. And an ace of cups upright and I'll wait for the surprise card so it looks like Scorpio that there was an ending to a relationship and you felt like you had lost everything you felt like a failure um, and you couldn't really figure out what was going on you were trying to figure out how to put all the pieces back together maybe even wanting to get back with this um, sorry sack of piece of shit that you were with before and now you're realizing uh, no you deserve much better than that um, so <laughs> sometimes we have to uh, step into some shit before we come out smelling like roses um, and that's exactly what's happening with you Scorpio um, you really felt like you know you were in love with this person and they um, did some things that were not right. They uh, lied to you, or it could be a number of things. Again, this is a general reading. Uh, I'm picking up uh, cheating, lying, um, secrets that you didn't know about, that they held back from you, and you realize that this is not what you had signed up for. So, but... You know, in the breakup, anytime there's a breakup in a relationship, it doesn't matter who did what to who, there's always a feeling of loss. There's always a feeling of defeat, that you've been defeated. And, um, and, and you're, you know, you, you've, everything is kind of scattered. You're trying to figure out what to do to pick up the pieces again where to start over, how to start over. So that's why you have this king um, in pentacles in reverse. Because yeah, it's like he's he's at a loss. You've been at a loss. So, but the good news is, and the, I mean, and that's been like near the beginning of the, of the year maybe, but um, things are happening to where you're finally getting over that loss you're realizing that that really was a piece of shit that you were dealing with and that you don't need them in, their, in your life anymore. You're just, you're cutting the ties. You're cutting, you're cutting through all that bullshit. And that's where the Ace of Pentacles is coming in right here is because you're finding new ground. You're, you're, you're gaining control back into your life. Um, a lot of times when we go through a, a breakup, it's like everything around our whole world just falls apart. You know, um, I, I know that there have been relationships, my last relationship three and a half years ago, I cried and cried and cried. It was like, where do I go from here? How do I pick up the pieces? Cause I just thought that was, that was my soulmate. I was going to be with him to the day I died. And then when it came to an end, I was like, oh my God, you know, it was like the world came to an end. <laughs> so that's kind of where you were at. And, but now the beauty of it is that you're finding that, uh, a newness, uh, you're finding, um, 
new life, new zest, new uh, energy within yourself. It's, it's a new creativity. Uh, you're letting go. Like I said, you're letting go of the, the um, bondage that you felt that you were in of, of like trying to hang, wanting to hang on to this person. And then, you know, you finally realize, you know, what a piece of shit you were with and you, and you learn from that lesson. And now, you, now you're moving on. And this is the best part of it. Uh, Scorpio, Ace of Cups here. Yay. There is new love coming into your life. You've done the work. You've gone through whatever it was that you needed to do to clear out all the bullshit so that you could bring in new love. These two cards, I mean, oh my God, you got two Ace, Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups here, back to back. Great, great cards. So you've moved through all that bullshit. But the map card, check this out, wide open. So you're like out on this mountain and you're completely wide open and ready to receive whatever the universe has for you because you've accepted the fact that you deserve better and that you are going to have better and you're ready to receive the love that you deserve. You're ready to receive the goodness into your life. Sometimes we don't feel like we don't feel like we're good enough to receive um, the cream of the crop, but I mean, honey, you are standing on a mountain and you are so ready. It's like you're saying, okay, universe, here I am. Give me what I deserve. Give me the very best of the best. And you are so open and ready for it. And, and this ace of cups here, um, just look at, um, this person. I don't know if you can see, but here this person is just sitting at the bottom of this fountain while the universe is just shower, you know, like um, showering this person with a new energy, an energy of love and uh, really great things. Um, very, very powerful energy. So there you have it. <laughs> Honey, you have done the work and you are ready. You are so ready and congratulations to you. And it's all going to be good. Uh, I see many of you will be in something new, have a new relationship in your lives by, I would say by, um, Feb by uh, Valentine's. What a great time to celebrate Valentine's because you're going to have new love in your life. So anyway, that's it for you, um, Scorpio. I wish you the very best. And um, again, for many of you, this may not have resonated, and that's okay. Um, but for those, if, I mean, if you like this uh, video, please hit the like button. Um, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. You'll get a notice every time I put something out. And again, if you want your own personal reading, at the, it's in the description below at my website, gypsyspiritcharleston.com. In the meantime, Scorpio, take care. Bye-bye.